<clears throat> this is me preparing to tee up on Jeff Saturday. Indianapolis Colts worst vibes in the NFL right now. And I'm about to talk about the Houston Texans, so buckle up. You must be pretty bad, Indianapolis Colts. Um, Jeff Saturday is a clown. A clown. Did you guys know that he was offered the job to be the offensive line coach multiple times by Jim Irsay, who has some sort of love affair with him and wants him to see him on the coaching staff? Did you know that Jeff Saturday turned it down multiple times because he thought he was too good for it and wanted essentially only to be the head coach? Irsay, due to this love affair, chose to fire Frank Reich in the middle of the season, put Jeff Saturday in with zero head coaching experience, zero coaching experience outside of a high school team. Jeff Saturday was all gloating after they had that one win. Guess what? One in seven in his tenure. And not just one in seven in traditional fashion. Like, oh, they played tough, even though the Colts had a roster to be very competitive uh, up and down uh, the roster this year. There were horrible losses, including one that broke records versus the Minnesota Vikings. Can I read the tweet? Mm -hmm. November 14th, 2022, 4.08 p.m., Jim Mersey, all you critics, dot, 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 you criticize all of us in the NFL for losing, dot, 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 when, me, when we make moves to win, capital W, dot, 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 you act so righteous, you act so righteous, uh, exclamation point, in quotes, all proper nouns for some reason, proper words, huh. who you crapping, dot, 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 it's not a thing, close quote, just win, baby, exclamation point, exclamation point, football emoji, peace out emoji. Um, since that tweet, they never won another game in the regular season. Uh, so, so st- no, stick, no one stick to roof open or close tweets, Jim yeah. say. No one, no one, uh, no one listened to that. Tw- no one listened to the just win command there, Jim. Sorry, sorry to tell you, but it is just. Um, well, I mean, I hope Frank Reich gets another head coaching job next year. He might. I feel like he might sit this out, sit one out, and just like I could, regroup. Uh, yeah, I can but understand it. That was a ridiculous. Like, I, I don't know. He he got done dirty by um by the by Jim Irsay, who clearly had one guy in mind, some sort of prior relationship with him that he, that convinced this oligarch that he had to make this unilateral decision, which I know based on reporting was met with resentment by the rest of the tenured head tenured coaching staff on that team, like Gus Bradley and John Fox, who have literally already co- co- uh, coached. NFL teams before. You, you <laughs> like, want to give you, Frank Reich there already. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. I don't agree with it because I think he's been dealt a terrible situation with the quarterback position, but fine. You're giving him the hook. Okay. Um, promote one of the former head coaches on your roster. Create some stability within that team. Don't bring some guy who thought he was too good to be a part of the coaching staff in there to lead the rest of that coaching staff. I can't imagine that kind of resentment that he comes off his TV set and, you know, blows through there and having never worked in his life. Like coaching is a, coaching is a very difficult job. Um, People will say, coaches are the CEO of a football team, what they do is harder than what CEOs do. Yeah, Let's be real. Because they, they actually have to do really hard work. They probably work a little bit more than some CEOs. And have people skills. And, um, you, you know, know... We call CEOs NFL owners. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. So they are not the CEO. They are like the overworked management. <laughs> and um, head coach is a really difficult job. And I don't think Jeff, Jeff Saturday tried very hard, had the work ethic, or the... or, And I believe he had... Uh, a disproportionate ego and like I can't imagine what that locker room is like and and, and the point of all of this is that Ursay's still considering hiring yeah, him keeping, long term keeping him after one and seven <laughs> keeping him after one and seven keeping him after uh, 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 when, when they when they needed to take when they had three timeouts or two timeouts or something in a in a, in a uh, low clock situation at the end of the game he literally just let them just keep going and going and going until there was they had no time to run a last play i don't remember exactly which game it was where that happened well and, i mean and he did said, they do the manning cast or well, yeah. it probably wasn't on espn because remember right, when were, peyton, peyton was, was freaking out about that broncos game yeah. but yeah but but jeff saturday is a part of espn that, that so. was it it was the broncos game where they were saying they were like, they, when peyton was like call timeout call timeout i wonder and, what how we'd feel about this bff doing the exact same shit except when you know being a member of the colts coaching staff and, and anyway. Saturday and Saturday, I think, was like, yeah, you know, I didn't think time was of the essence or something like that. It was like, oh, you didn't? Ah. You didn't think that? Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, got it. Okay, no problem. Um, 
the uh the and the frustrating thing too is like Saturday the frustrating thing too is like is is this is all like management and and non field stuff besides obviously the very glaring bad quarterback play and very disappointing offensive line play mm-hmm. the defense is not bad yeah the Colts defense, Grover Stewart had a very nice year Shaq Leonard's a good player they have a few good players DeForest at safety Buckner's still a, DeForest a Buckner's monster. there like yeah. it's, it's just it, that's what's also that's what's also such a bummer is just like there are pieces on this Michael Pittman is a good player like mm-hmm. there are pieces on this team that they can get something out of they just like they Ursay is the owner Ballard kind of standing by while this stuff happens. Chris Ballard, like their GM, standing by. And Saturday at the at the head coaching spot is just like they're st- they're stepping on rakes. They're just getting in their own way. And it looks like I mean, there Jeff Saturday worm tongue whispering in uh, Ur- Ursay's ear was saying like you know, like kind of in uh, implying that I didn't have a lot to work with, which is like shade on Chris Ballard. Um, oh yeah, if what they are... fire Chris Ballard and keep Jeff Saturday. I think Colts fans should riot. <laughs> I, I I completely agree because that's what what how how more how much more succinctly in terms of your actions can how much more succinctly in terms of his actions can Jim Ursay communicate to his fan base that he does not care about winning? 